that's exactly how I hoped it would happen. And you're sure there's nothing you can do about it? Paul? Paul, where are you? What? I'm, I'm, I'm right here. Oh, God. I, I, I didn't know where I was, and then I, I, I didn't know where you were, and... Please don't do that. Please okay, don't leave me like that again. I'm, I'm sorry, I won't. This is so much harder than I thought it would be. This is very difficult. All right. Well, listen. I think I have a way to make it all a lot easier. I'm so sorry, Paul. Why? This fragile, needy person. This is not me. Come on, look. It's just going to be a little while before you're used to everything. That's all. I, I want to be who I was again. You will be. Well, maybe not exactly who I was. I mean, I I'm very relieved that I'm not married to Craig any longer. I mean, how did I ever love that man? Look at who he is, what he's done. All right, don't, don't do that. Don't blame yourself. Blame him. Get angry at him. Use that anger to motivate yourself to get better. I will. I'll do that. You want to hear my good news? Wait a second. Um, I, I so appreciate how wonderful you're being to me, but just because my life has been put on hold for two years, I, that doesn't mean that you have to put your life on hold. My life's not on hold. I'm doing something. I'm making a difference for the first time in a long time because of you. Rosanna, I'm exactly where I want to be. Thank you so much for saying that. You know, I'm not where I want to be. <laughs> this is a big step up from the clinic, well, but uh, it's certainly not like home. I think I have a, a, a really easy way to fix all that. How? Why don't you get dressed? And I'll show you. Lie back. Sure he ain't. Make yourself at home. This is not your home. Uh. I pay the taxes here. Your name's not on the deed. Fair ones belongs to Rosanna. You are trespassing on private property, and you need to get out. Now. Why did you never have Fair ones transferred to your name? Is it because you were so convinced that Rosanna was dead and gone? Rosanna got the best of care. You visited her once only paid her medical bills because it was her money. I showed up and miraculously she woke up. Tell me something, you're, you're a nurse, well, you were a nurse, Meg. Does that sound to you like the best possible medical care that a man can provide for his beloved wife? You took everything that I had and divorced me when I was in a coma. They said it was an irreversible coma. How long would you have stayed married to me if the situation was reversed? It's all right, you did me a favor. And now I intend to repay it by making you pay me back every penny that you took from me with interest. Taking my life back, Craig. I'm calling my lawyer, Rosanna. Sounds like a great idea. Uh, you better make that call uh, from off the premises. Uh, this order to vacate is effective immediately. Can't even pack her clothes. Ah, I don't want any reminders of you around, so go ahead. Take your time. We'll just sit here and wave goodbye. Bye. Okay. I'll go pack some things. Be right back. Oh, there's no place like home. <laughs> Rosanna, I never wanted to take your house away from you. I just thought there weren't many happy memories here for you. Well, I did have some bad times here, but I also had some very good times, too. Like when I was married to Paul. This time of my life. While it lasted. I think I better go check and make sure Craig isn't trying to get his hands on the family jewels. You can't even talk to me. You're right. I can't. Meg, outwardly, it would appear that the two of us have nothing in common, but it does appear that the same two men fell in love with both of us. It wasn't that long ago that you and Paul were close, yes? Yes, that's right. And now it seems you're married to my ex-husband. Perhaps you could fill in the blanks for me? I'm sorry, I thought, I thought Paul already did that for you. Well, we just haven't had the chance. There's been a lot of ground to cover. 
I guess he didn't find it that important. Or maybe he just didn't want to tell you what he didn't want to hear himself. And what would that be? He would tell you that Craig tried to kill him. That I saw him go over the cliff into the icy water. But that's not the truth. Craig tried to save his life. And Paul refused to take his hand. And they told us that there was no possibility that he would have survived. And I couldn't, I couldn't leave. I just wouldn't. And Craig, Craig stayed with me. He kept the search going. And not because he thought Paul would be found, but he did it for me. And finally, we had no choice but to give up. I don't even know how Paul made it. I don't even know why he didn't contact me to tell me that he was okay. He left me grieving and blaming myself. But Craig was there to help me through it. But you loved Paul. We were going to get married. So if he hadn't fallen and disappeared from your life, are you saying that you would still be with him? 